humans have been aware of the power of the wind for a long time. The first automatic turbines that could turn air into electricity were built at the turn of the 19th century by Charles Brush. However, it wasn't until the 1970s, when the oil crisis fueled the hike in oil and gas prices, that wind energy became more widely used. Since then, wind energy, aided by technological advancements in recent years, has flourished. But the real challenge to the dominance of conventional wind turbines comes with the breakthrough of mind-blowing windrose turbines. The academic term for wind power is eolic energy, which comes from the Greek mythological figure Aeolus, who was the keeper of the winds. Wind power is now one of the most efficient and cost-effective ways to produce energy in a safe and environmentally sustainable manner. Wind energy is inexhaustible. It does not contaminate its surroundings and reduces the use of fossil fuels, which cause greenhouse gas emissions leading to global warming. In 2022, wind energy sources accounted for almost 7.33% of worldwide energy generation. This is double the share of energy generation when compared to 2015, which is the year the Paris Agreement was signed. Experts believe that technological advancements, and along with other factors, will help reduce the cost of wind energy between 18 to 35% by 2035. By 2050, it is expected that over 6 million jobs will be generated by the wind energy sector alone. Wind Turbines for Distributed Renewable Energy Even though wind energy is the leading source of large-scale energy generation, it hasn't picked up much speed in the arena of distributed renewable energy, where it is lagging far behind solar energy. The popular image of wind turbines is a towering 260-foot white structure with massive 170-foot blades, which make an unbearable amount of noise and create a flicker effect when the sun is low in the sky, casting a moving shadow. But let's be honest, there is a reason small turbines have not enjoyed the same popularity that solar panels have in recent years. Wind turbines are fine for industrial zones, but not that nice for residential zones. These turbines are not as aerodynamically efficient as their larger counterparts, which results in lower efficiency and higher costs of energy. They are also more difficult to secure structures, and in some cases, have been known to cause structural damage to buildings. These turbines are also not aesthetically pleasing. They are a bit of an eyesore, especially in urban settings. The design of traditional turbines with their spinning blades also makes them a hazard for birds, who can get caught in these blades. The development of vertical turbines will be able to solve these problems and more. Flower Turbines Luckily for us, advancements in wind energy have led to the creation of a unique vertical turbine that is taking the wind energy industry by storm. So what is this game changer? Flower Turbines these tulip-shaped turbines are an innovative combination of high efficiency and low noise, which makes them ideal for urban applications. Built by Dr. Daniel Farb, these turbines utilize their aerodynamic twin vertical blade design, which is curved and inspired by the tulip flower. The inner shape of the two turbine segments and their positioning in relation to each other makes it possible for these turbines to operate from any wind direction, even at very low wind speeds. These flower-shaped turbines come in 1, 3, and 6 meters, and there are a variety of colors to choose from. These turbines actually look like eco-art installations, which will please those who prefer their clean energy from aesthetically pleasing sources. The size and shape of these turbines make them ideal for use in houses, buildings, and motorhomes. Dr. Farb's design won the Dutch Award for Sustainability in 2019 when they installed the turbines on a container at the Dutch Marina successfully. More recently, the U.S. Department of Energy has taken an interest in this technology, and Dr. Farb was named an innovator by them in 2021. But apart from their artistic shape, what is it that makes these vertical turbines important? Energy efficiency. Flower turbines are more environmentally efficient. The largest of these turbines, which stands at 6 meters and comes with a 5-kilowatt generator, is capable of producing 10,000 kilowatts of energy each year. Opponents of wind farms always cite noise concerns, but these turbines generate less noise. Calculated at 39 decibels, this is much lower than any other competitor on the market. The noise frequency is so low that it is undetectable by humans. Compared to these turbines, your air conditioning unit is louder at 50 decibels. Another advantage of these vertical turbines is that they can start spinning at much lower speeds. While conventional turbines need winds up to 3 meters per second, Flower turbines can start spinning at winds of up to 1.2 meters per second. 
These wind tulips are already generating electricity in Colombia and Netherlands, where the unique aerodynamic design is projected to produce 50% more electricity in clusters because these turbines feed air to one another. How do these turbines accomplish that? With something called the bouquet effect, which makes each turbine perform better when they are placed close to each other. According to the Flower Turbine Company, this means more zoom in less room. A study done by them showed that five turbines placed perfectly to catch this bouquet effect produced 228% more energy at winds of 10 meters per second. The synergistic cluster effect also allows more turbines to be installed for even better performance in any location. More environmentally friendly. People in Europe are increasingly getting behind this flower power. And one of the reasons is that these turbines have addressed a major flaw that was prevalent in other traditional wind turbines. The shape of these turbines is such that they pose no danger to wildlife in urban settings, so birds and bats can rest easy and fly about peacefully, without fear of getting hit by massive blades. These turbines have already been installed across Rotterdam, Amsterdam, parts of Germany, Israel, and Colombia, with no effects on the local wildlife and no environmental degradation. Better cost efficiency. But what about cost efficiency? It is estimated that the six meter turbine, when installed in a relatively windy area, will be able to generate 200% more energy per square meter than solar panels do. This extraordinary efficiency is what makes these flower turbines almost 30% more cost efficient than other small wind turbines. In India, the Chennai Railway Division has installed three prototypes of these flower turbines to generate 1.5 kilowatts of energy. In fact, Indian businessman Anand Mahindra thinks these cost-effective space-saving and low wind turbines might just be what India needs. Hybrid wind and solar systems. So will these turbines replace solar panels in the near future? Roy Osinga, the European director of flower turbines, is thinking more along the lines of combining the best of both worlds. Osinga believes that combining solar panels with flower turbines and creating a hybrid system solves the problem of energy generation at night and during winter. Because wind and solar energy have naturally opposite panel patterns, they will work well together to generate more energy making it more cost-effective throughout the year. Quirky wind turbines have been gathering more wind in recent years because they are better at channeling wind into electric energy, and researchers expect flower power to take over the world in the next five years. With the popularity of these turbines, Europe's goal of becoming climate neutral by the year 2050 is looking increasingly reachable.